Hey all, just before the actual vlog of ACL Sydney starts, I just want to quickly apologise, you know, if some of the video is dark in some parts and the audio not the best. I did the best I could with the time I had available. I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk a bit more once it's the end of it. It's a fair while, so relax, enjoy. Talk to you again soon. Okay, so by the asset here, day one I guess of ACL Sydney for myself, it is a Thursday, just got in a minute ago. So I've just unpacked, you know, set up my area and made sure everything's suited to how I want it for I'm going to be here at the Addison Hotel. This is going to be a full big log of course of the event and wrapping it back up once I'm back home again. Two flights today of course, one to get to Brisbane and then from Brisbane to Sydney here. Pretty good flights, so, you know, it didn't take that long so it was great. And about two hours all up, or two and a half hours really of flying and then I'm here so it's, you know, better than having to drive all the way which I'm very happy about. I'll quickly take you around the hotel. Not what I was really expecting, but at the same time, not the worst place I've stayed at, but not the best either. So I'll take you around the, the, the my room, I guess, on the actual hotel. I'm looking in the mirror right here. Uh, I'm looking in the mirror every now and again, like I am right now, instead of looking at the camera. And then we'll uh, continue on from there, I guess, and talk a little bit about the stuff that's gonna be coming up. So of course, that's the door to come in. I got the bathroom in here, pretty you know basic bathroom. Already set up all my stuff. You know, getting everything in the way I want it to be. Uh, wardrobe. Oh, there you go. That's one of the things you don't really want to look at. Uh, the door does not even want to open. That's great. Hang on. Fail is fail. There we go. Let's fix that one. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Anyway. Got some clothes in there as you can see, you know, some jumpers and stuff. Didn't know what the weather was going to be like. Got the ACL jumpers in there. A couple extra jumpers, some shirts. There are some pants and jeans down on in there that I've uh, put away. And also, you know, socks and underwear and all that. Or boxes, I should say. Uh, set the TV up. That was right here, of course, but I've I had that going. It's the bed. Uh, same thing I always do with the bed. I always pull the sheets right off because I just cannot sleep with them tucked all the way in like they usually have. At least I've got an aircon, that's one of the great things. Been doing some ironing, just finished ironing before, just ironing some of my shirts and uh, pants. Got the Mac set up. Have to uh, sign in on that and get the Wi Fi going, I guess. Outside, a little tiny balcony. Got my uh, ashtray and table out there, as you can see. Nice little balcony, you know, pretty, pretty basic. Not that much to look at, really, I guess. Not a great deal going on out there. Get that closed. So that's about it really for the actual room. I might just hold this up to the mirror while I sit down. Save me having to worry about where it is. That's just easier. So look, if I look at the mirror then it should come up on the camera like I'm looking at you guys. Maybe. I don't know. Look at it later. So tomorrow the plan is I'll probably head down to the actual event, the venue for a few hours, help the guys set up a little bit. Knowing me, I'll say I'm going to head down there for a few hours but end up spending the whole day there. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Uh, I spoke to Naked this morning actually and he let me know that there's an actual 7-Eleven just around the corner So I'm going to go hit that in a minute and get some V's, you know, some coke and maybe some lollies and stuff for when I'm commentating I might look at some water, although I've already told it was uh, Stens from Frey to save me some water They usually take like a carton or two to, to the event, so I'm going to get some water off them and I think I signed up for two dollars a bottle, I didn't care, I just needed a drink So I might do that and I think there's a bottle though actually somewhere as well the guy was telling me I think it's across the road and to the right I think he said so you know go some rums have some of those tonight I might tweet out in a little bit see who else is here at the hotel yet if there is anyone might have a couple of drinks with them hopefully they're over the age of 18 because I, I don't take any responsibility for those that drink under the age of 18 but I will of course buy you some if you want some just hush hush put that under the table that will your parents and then of course Saturday Saturday's going to be day again start kicking things off with the ACL Sydney 2012 first time at Sydney for ACL I've been to Sydney before but first time being here for ACL so I'm really looking forward to it I'm looking forward to meeting some new people who could of course could make it to Brisbane last year and Gold Coast earlier this year so that should be good and then of course Sunday you know same stuff that always happens during these events stream commentate and then pack up tomorrow night oh it's not tomorrow night but it's Sunday night ACL House drinks, Can looking forward to that and as I've tweeted out the other day, look, I was looking forward to my DM, DMM Deep and Meaningful with Vanzo. We seem to have one up to every single land, this little bit of a tra tradition we've got going now, 
Uh, well, I've only been to two ACL events, I think, Brisbane and Gold Coast. But at both times, me and him have had a good old chat afterwards. So hoping to continue on with that and, you know, just see where each other's are, where I'm at and where he's at and how ACL's going, etc. It's always great to have a good chat to him. <clears throat> and I believe I'm sharing his, his bed with him on Sunday night. So he's going to be the little spoon, I'll be the big spoon. So if he's walking bow-legged for a few days after that, then you know why. You know, he's had to take it like a man. But moving on from that, as I like to make a little joke here and there, that's going to be about it for now. This is going to be once again a big vlog. You know, I'm going to have what I can film for you all. I might do a bit of filming tomorrow when I get into the event, the venue, which is just in the road, I think, about 300 metres. So oh, that's what I was told, but it might be longer. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Like, I'm happy to walk. The exercise is great for you, as everyone should be doing it. And yeah, that's about it, really. Leave it about, leave it there. I'm gonna try and get the USB input on the TV to work, so I can watch some of my TV shows that I bought with me tonight. Give me something to do if no one else is here, or tomorrow, you know, before the, before I head down to the venue. See what happens. There's a Chinese restaurant. I was actually looking at the menus over there before. That's uh, just down downstairs. So I might head to that for dinner tonight. See what happens again. See who's around. See what they want to do. If anyone is around at all. And like I said, go from there. Hope to see a lot of new people, as I was talking about before, at the event, that those that couldn't make it to Brisbane or Gold Coast like I was. And meet a lot, 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 oh, bleh, long day. Meet a lot of new people. But until then, that's going to be about it. Wrap it up here for the end of this part, part one of the Thursday. Travel's done. Now it's time to enjoy myself in Sydney. I was, of course, by B Acid. And the next part is coming at you right now. Oh, yeah. oh, damn it! <laughs> Let's get ready to film and everything. Even though you can't see him, that's Nuggins right there having a cry. Fuck off. About moving the, the tape and the cables and everything. Four beer Nuggins. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up the middle projectors. There's Damo. He waves. Oh, Netflix. A little ginger. Everyone else setting stuff up. Hey man, I don't drink beer. Unless I, unless I have nothing else to drink, then I drink beer. What is the time actually? Uh, past six, like ten past six. Oh, twelve past. Pretty good. You're close. Good. You're close. Got to be here by seven, don't we? Really? I think so. Well, no, it's, it's like got it. Got it. Gonna cost Vans or extra. To ha extra. No, I didn't. Yeah. Recording. Come on, bro. I'm a vlog man. What were you gonna say? Wait, David, do you hear a story? I was gonna tell fucking Nugans how shitty he was. Do you hear a story? standing above me. Ha! It's not Halo. It's fire. It's fire. Do you hear a story? Yeah, right. Where are you? Thank you. Oh, there you are. You need a story, Barrow? I'm gonna try and get off some light action happening. There, there he is. I only just see him. Yeah, go. You gonna hear a story? Yeah. What story do you wanna hear? A story? Did you hear the story about uh, new guns at Queensland in the shower for an hour? Yeah, right, eh? Uh, well, do I wanna know what you were doing in the shower? Oh, we're at Queensland, right? This is before Queensland. This is before I met you. Yeah, this was the day before I met you, Bio. For Bris Brisland? Yeah, it's just Thursday. Yeah. We decided that at a Stark Lantern, which you've been to. We decided, oh, let's get fucking wasted. Let's get wasted drunk. So we ended up buying like $200 worth of alcohol for everyone in the house. Yeah. And then, so I was drinking vodka Red Bulls with Triside, and I'm a lightweight to begin with. And then we went out into JB's car. Hmm. And JB's was doing the Dutch stuff, if you know what I mean. Not really. Hang on, I've got some more light in the situation. Getting, oh, I, know, I know what you mean. He's getting, yeah. I know what you mean. Dutch stuff. And I was so drunk, they thought that I was going to attract some people um, that they didn't want. They thought I was going to attract the police here. So they said, There's Nugans, some more light Nugans. down here. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. They go, Nugans, Nugans, get in the car, get in the car. And then they did the windows up and they got a Dutch oven. So I got slightly higher and I was drunk at the same time. And I started to get heaps like worried because I've never been high before. And I threw up, and then as soon as I threw up, I said, I need to have a fucking shower, I need to go have a shower right now. And I ended up in my underwear in the shower for over an hour, talking with Nick John Blickstar, uh, what's his name, Magic Tuna and Parker. <laughs> While I was in the shower, and I was just like sitting like this for like an hour, just talking to them.
And I, I wasn't looking at them, I was just sitting like this. And that's how everyone knows me, because every land I get naked. Fair enough. And you have them video, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, people. You better, you better keep that in post, dude. Oh yeah, I'm going to. I plan on it. They're staying in there. Yeah, man. It'll be like a special bonus footage right at the end. Hey, Damo. Starcraft 2 setup. Stream. It's currently going, actually. Got a fish angle lens at the top. FIFA's going to be up there. A lot of PC and Starcraft over there. Plus there. Then Halo for like one table, because there's how many teams? Not enough teams. Not enough teams, called Damo. Then COD for a big set of table and another one. Admin desk in the middle, of course. Feature station. I'm gonna get down and try on the main stage. I really don't trust these stairs, eh? Sorry? Those stairs feel pretty weak. Yo! No, I'll we'll save another story for Sunday night at least. For the next event. Oh, Sunday night. Sunday. When you're actually drunk. <laughs> Main stage. Yeah, that'd be doable for a short person. Yeah, you put the, yeah he's, like, he's shorter than me, so we got there and put pillows underneath him and stuff done for the whole night. <laughs> I thought that was pretty insane. That looked pretty good for so at the moment we are in Pandan's car, but he's not even here. We've got Damo, and I'm trying to find his face. I probably can't even see him, there he is. Maniac's driving. Got an ethics. There guns, who was telling his awesome story earlier. Pretty good. And of course me. We're trying to find a KFC, and we believe Damo is actually taking us to a shopping centre. Instead of just like a normal KFC. He's trolling us. He's trolling us. He's getting trolled by Google Maps. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of pubs around, that's, that's a good thing. Suncorp Bay? Anyone? Uh, use the ATM? I don't even care. We should have just used this one. Yeah, that's my bad thing. So we're gonna, we've, we've re resulted to the GPS. Instead of Google Maps. <coughs> Stuck at lights. It's going to go hate about cities. Uh, so many lights. Oh, how many traffic lights do I have? You live by one, three, <laughs> two, one, go. <laughs> one man. I got one set. Holy shit! Yeah, man, one set. That's not even at the busiest intersection. Because <laughs> the busy, busiest intersection is too busy because of trucks. Because yeah. like a lot of cow trucks and freight trucks and all that head through it, uh, so they can't really put lights there. Traffic lights and it's on a roundabout. Because <laughs> in, in Nui we have lights on roundabouts sometimes. Oh wow. Yeah, I did say that. Okay, Damo's going to GPS. Um, I just don't know where I'm driving to get to the station. So I'm just going to go this way, and if we run into a KFC, then Mazar. Before they close. <laughs> You're a fucking <fuck> hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was so good. Uh, I'm on. There's so much culture in the vlogs. Well, There's just nothing else to you know, really aim the camera at. You got nothing really to talk about, do you? Yeah, not at the moment. I'm just too tired. We're all too hungry. Oh, well, we got this. Yeah. We got a hammer. Can't even see it because there's no light. Can you get his phone out so we can see, see the hammer? There you go. Wait, I, can't, I still can't see it. There's enough light, man. They're like side by side. It. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's better. We've zoomed out. Let me check. I've zoomed out. Then we'll take him up. They go on sale at ACL City. Yeah, but two dollars for him or a cap. Which I'll still get a naked and a pin. It's a bit late. Let's see if the vlog comes out. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> People will be wondering where those hammers come from, and they'll know. Yeah. Let's buy thermal tank, TTE Sports. Red light. Green light. Okay, Mark. Oh, it's a tyre one. You have that in first. Okay, Mark. Oh. I don't know how it came up where I live. 
Let's just shut the fuck up. Really? Really? I'll have a Woolworths and a Target. And an RGA. Do you know in Sydney they don't call it Target, they call it Target because right? they're upper class. Really? We're in, we're in Sydney. <laughs> Have you, have you, have you, have you, no, that uh, don't. I saw a Target today. Yeah, no, but no, but they pronounce it differently. Target. Really? So that's, that's like, what my dad It's said. like this suburb I was staying in Perth. Yeah. It was seriously spelled C O C K B U R N. Yeah, Cockburn. Yeah, Cockburn. <laughs> they were all like Coburn. Oh, Cockburn. It's <laughs> called Cockburn. There's up the loop. People, people are trying to get away with calling it like Coburn or something. So I was like, fuck off, it's Cockburn. <laughs> Better put the wrist strap on in case I drop it out the window. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do a vlog now. Uh, you have to do a vlog at KFC. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll pause this now. We have a stare down between a maniac and the way happening. It's been going on for all, uh, probably about two minutes now. Damo's face has not moved. He might be having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs>